Hello, I'm Richard Jack Smith, reviewing another Benjamin Wolfish score today, 13 Lives. I have been a fan of Wolfish ever since I heard his work on It, and I enjoyed the sequel and the music for Hellboy, Gamba, and parts of Shazam. It's interesting to bring up an early effort by his early effort of his called Pressure, which starred Danny Houston and Matthew Good, because that ties into very much a lot of the style that he creates on 13 Lives, at least in terms of the dissonance. Now, unlike many of his peers, Wolfish knows how to do dissonance right. It's not just about creating a tension headache, <laughs> which is like what uh, Scott Glasgow's death count was like. No, he creates palpable feelings of unease, but it's a vital atmospheric pulse. It just feels right the way he gets it. It's, it's, he brings these very interesting ideas in there. It's instrumentally creative as opposed to just being weird sounding. And this euphoric, gripping and ultimately satisfying experience features some gorgeous music. It opens beautifully and throughout there is a contrast which just plays up the dynamics beautifully. It's an excellent Ron Howard film. Both Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell are superb. Farrell giving arguably his finest performance since Phone Booth, I would say. And even Joel Edgerton, who had a bit of a rocky start with the Thing prequel and playing Ramses in Exodus Gods, Exodus Gods and Kings. But uh, yeah, as I say, I mean, Wolfish is a, he's a, he's a bright boy, marvellous talent. And as I say, he, he just applies it just right. He doesn't overstep. And this is the thing I loved about his IT scores. There's lots of distance in there, but it's creative, it's ambient, it's got character, personality. That's the key. It's not enough just to create a tension headache through weird sounding stuff. You've got to create something that's going to catch on. And in terms of like the drama of this story, it takes place in Thailand with these boys and their teacher are trapped in this cave that's flooded and it's they've got to get these divers in and that those feelings of claustrophobia and tension beautifully conveyed by Wolfish but there are also moments of profound beauty in this I really like 13 Lives apparently uh, Christian of Film Tracks has already reviewed it but I didn't want to look at the rating or his review before doing mine for I give this 4 out of 5 stars Benjamin Wolfish on 13 Lives has done very well and I look forward to his next score. I think he's actually working on The Flash, if I remember rightly. So that'll be, because mm. I did like um, Shirley Walker's work on The Flash and even um, Blake Neely. So yeah, this is some exciting stuff. So 13 Lives, highly recommended. Some people may just like it for the more melodic stuff, but if you, you know, stick with it, the dissonance, it's well worth checking out. For more film and soundtrack reviews, please visit Betty Jo Tucker's website, Real Talk Movie Reviews. On Facebook, you can find my pages, Hypnotic Movie Reviews and Hypnotic Soundtrack Reviews. I am Richard Jack Smith. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.